Think of the great clubs of Moroccan football and names like the Casablanca Giants, Widad and Raja are probably the first to come to mind. However, they've got a new and formidable rival up in the far north of the country, in the small city of Tetouan. Maghreb is a club with a history like no other. Abdul Malik El Hatri has made a study of their origins. Football came to Morocco when the country was a Spanish protectorate. In fact, it was Spanish soldiers who brought football to this region. They'd play the game in their barracks. There was one very close to here. And around 1913, the soldiers built this stadium. They'd play football as a pastime, but soon they decided to set up a club, Atletico Tetuan. Many other clubs were formed after this time. Atletico Tetuan, with their Spanish roots, looked across the Mediterranean for their matches and shortly after the war became the only club from mainland Africa ever to play in the Spanish top flight. They played in the Spanish League and managed to gain promotion after winning the second division. It meant that they played the 1951-52 season in the top league of Spanish football. They only stayed up for one season and it was quite a mixed one results-wise, with some good performances amongst a fair few defeats. But there were special matches, like the one against Atletico Madrid when Tetuan won 4-2. It was an important time in the history of Maghreb Tetuan. Independence in 1956 meant no more jaunts north and the club now named Maghreb spent years yo-yoing between Morocco's first and second divisions. They were somewhat neglected until in 2005 they were taken over by local businessman Abdul Malik Abrun. He changed the way the club was run from top to bottom and developed strong links with Spain. We did the groundwork in 2005 and two years later announced the partnership with Atletico Madrid. We swapped coaches and training camps and worked closely together. We set up a youth team in Tetuan and brought in experienced people from Atletico Madrid. We really shook the club up. We gave it a much needed boost. Hard work on and off the field resulted in the club becoming Moroccan champions for the first time in 2012, and they repeated the feat earlier this year. We won the league again last season. No one can now be in any doubt that our achievement two years ago wasn't simply a one-off. People can see that Maghreb Tetuan is a club with a solid base. We have a strategic plan based on professionalism and hard training. Another reason for the club's recent success is head coach Aziz Al Amri. He's been at the helm for four seasons. And the way the club has developed is tribute to the plan that was outlined when he took over. It wasn't a case of achieving the impossible. It goes back to the hard work and dedication across the whole club. We use the facilities available to the squad properly. And it's thanks to the support of the president who's provided the club with great infrastructure at all levels, from the youth section right up to the first team. It's all thanks to the president implementing his vision and forcing it through. Maghreb Tetouan is now the main football force in northern Morocco and the club is investing heavily in youth development. They've recently built their own academy. One of their success stories is current captain Mohamed Abahon, who came up through the ranks. The 23-year-old defender is also one of the few domestic players in the national team, and he believes youth development is vital to the club's growth. Maghreb Tetuan is a great club, and times here are good. There's a strong technical setup here, 
It's very professional. The Youth Academy works hard to produce players for the first team and the Moroccan national team. The coaching staff are doing great work with the youth prospects and are doing their best to ensure they make the grade. The north of Morocco is so close to Spain that because of everything La Liga can offer, most locals took more interest in football on the other side of the Straits of Gibraltar. Thanks to Maghreb's recent success, things are starting to change and domestic matches have become increasingly popular. It's a source of great pride for striker Zuhair Naim. Everyone knows that most people here follow the Spanish league and Spanish football. Maghreb Tetuan's ability to bring everyone together around the club is proof of the impact it's had on the whole area. People didn't really pay any attention to the Moroccan league three or four years ago. They were closer to the Spanish league in every sense. Not only is Maghreb Tetuan a club on the up, winning the league means they'll be taking part in the FIFA Club World Cup at the end of the year. Morocco is hosting the event, which means there's a local representative, and everyone involved with the club is certain this once small team can make the country proud. The Club World Cup will help the world of football see the true face of the game in Morocco, our abilities as organisers and hosts. We got special recognition from FIFA for the way we hosted the tournament last year. Our wish, my wish as the president, is to emulate Raja's achievement and reach the final. That's our ambition and we're ready to fulfil it.